Today, I am taking a one day intensive coding class because I know like this much HTML, which is totally not cool for someone who hosts a tech show, right? So the goal today is to confront my insecurities about math, science, computer science, and the instructors say we're going to build an app. We'll see. I was told when I was a teenager that I was bad at math by the head mm. of the math department. And I gotta say, but I seriously think it did a number up on me. Really? I am going to have to deal with some serious insecurities through this day. This is not just learning to code, it's like a nine hour therapy session. This is kind of like your, your Sheryl Sandberg like lean in moment for the day, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, totally. Go. I know, I'm pumped. I'm leaning in too. All right. <laughs> Computers are super fast, but fundamentally, you know, stupid. But together, we can change the world. And if the computers are learning how we think, then we've got to understand how they think. But it has to continue to reference it, then. It doesn't, like, integrate it into what it has there. Okay. We still haven't touched the keyboard yet, and I think it's going to be the act of coding that I'm going to have to commit an act of coding in order to sort of, like, take my anxiety level down a notch. Tags, content, and attributes. That's it. But before, let's have a quick look at CSS. So, uh, I'm building this app for my family to check in when they get home. I changed the color of the font, which was very exciting. And I also added a map of our neighborhood by stealing it from Google Images. I am really proud of myself that I know that HTML is what it says on there. The CSS is the way it looks. And that I even know that Java is what makes it do stuff. That alone is a triumph. I would say the biggest surprise so far is that yes, you can Google your way to coding. Basically there are libraries out there that have basic commands already written so you don't have to start from scratch each time. Um, and then we need some curly brackets, yeah. jQuery form, perform an Ajax request, dollar dot Ajax. I mean, you have to be so detailed. You can't just be like. It's like needle point okay, so I think on the internet. We, um, <laughs> I don't want to learn how to code. I don't want to code, period. Jared, my friend that I made at the beginning of the day, we've kind of drifted apart by now. He is still feeling great and jazzed. He's like, wants to get extra credit. How are you feeling at this point? I'm feeling pretty good. You're still feeling good? If you had to say like what your biggest takeaway is from today, because for me, it's like, oh, go on to Google, search for it. <laughs> right. Highlight it, copy it, and paste yeah. it in some special place. Exactly. I just thought you didn't need to write it again because it knew. Oh, so I'm wrong. Yeah. <laughs> Should I talk us through the, the thinking, the, uh, the UX? The... Well, I did it. I, I really did make an app. Kind of amazing. Do I completely understand how I did this? It was a little, I gotta say, over my head, but the mere act of creating it myself made it less less scary. It did, it made it less scary. I built it with my own hands. <laughs>